So, yeah. There's a, sup there's a pre workout now called Dry Scoop. I was just reading it. Yeah. And I think it's a, a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> To be honest with you? Well, it's it's clever marketing. It is oh. clever marketing because this dry scoop in your supplement seems to be in it. Mark. Yeah. Well, Do you dry scoop your subs? If every now and then if I get if I kind of like it's just there and I'm like, you know. In yeah. the morning when I go for my walk, I dry scoop my fat burner. A fireball? Well, I finished Fireball, mm -hmm. and I will talk about it. I started using Metabolize. Nice, good product. But I, um, I just dry scoop it, but I, I dry scoop it with a glass, of, then I follow it with a glass yeah. of water. What I usually do is and like... And then I stand there going like that, so... Ah, oh, as it mixes, yeah. yeah. What I usually do is <laughs> I, I, go, I go water, scoop, then water again. So I sort of layer it. Oh. You know what I mean? Because dry scoop is going to get stuck in your teeth, it's stuck in your gums, and it gets all everywhere, and you get that, that real dry cotton mouth yeah, feeling. I suppose because you wake up with a bit of a cotton mouth. Yeah, so, so I go yeah. water, scoop, water. So technically I'm still drinking it in a solution. There's lots of arguments about... If you actually Google dry scoop in pre-workout, mm. there's lots of discussions on whether you should or you shouldn't do it. Yeah. But I find it still works. It's gonna work regardless, it's going into your body. Well, that's what I, yeah, but they, I don't know, I haven't really looked into why. Ah, there but is, there anyway, is zero. Getting back to this company, it's, it's called Ballistic Labs or mm. something, and it's just a normal pre workout. Yep. Like, based on the ingredient label, it's really good, but they apparently use some sort of digestive. Yeah, I was just reading on an oral jest, which, oral ha jest. which has no licensing anywhere no, whatsoever. No, no. It's just um, a gimmick. But I, I think it, I thought it was clever. Yeah. Supplement companies are most some of the most innovative when it comes to their marketing, whether it's real or bullshit. Yeah, I think personally, <laughs> what I think it is is I think it's bioparin. You know, like uh, piperine, yeah, black yeah. pepper, that's just been uh, trademarked under oral jest to increase bioavailability. Yeah. So I just think it's just a, like a clinical version of that. So that's my that's my two cents anyway. Anyway, I just yeah. I thought it was clever because they're they're taking advantage of a a thing that people oh, are doing. The other day I saw something called prollies. It was protein lollies. Ah, well this same yeah. company do protein. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. So they do protein as well. Yeah. So prollies, protein lollies. Protein lollies. Yeah, well, yeah. people, that's been around for a have while. You seen There's the, been like gummy bears, protein have, candy. Have you seen the chewable pre workout? No. Oh, look up conduit when you have a chance. <laughs> it's, it's just BCA. Yeah, but if I look up conduit, I'm going to get like links to Bunnings and we're get retail. We're probably going to get conduit on our phones right now because I've said it. But that's, that's <laughs> besides the point. Let's. Cool. All right. Yep. Thursday Thunder. It is. It is. Mm. April the 8th. April the 8th. <laughs> April the 8th. Yes. And this week has flown because it's a Thank short God week. For that. Like last weekend, then I don't know. I found Easter weekend was a drag. I actually got bored. Good Friday is the worst day of the year <laughs> by far. Everything is shut. You've got nothing to do. Catholics can't eat red meat, which is like my main dietary source. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, it's my worst day of the year for me. I despise it. Yeah, and it seems to be the only day I crave red meat the most. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just got bored. Yeah. I, I got bored on Monday, and and I came and trained, and I hurt myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my my Monday was productive. Yeah, but yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was a little bit of a drag. Yeah, I've got one gold bunny sitting in the fridge, which I can't wait to eat. Yeah. I got one Lindor Lint gold bunny. <laughs> That's the best kind. Yeah. <laughs> right, that was. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Yeah, so I hurt myself. I know. Yeah, Fantastic. like I heard a pop in my armpit doing um, trap bar deadlifts. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I haven't trained since then, but it's getting better and better and better. I can still feel it a little bit. No bruising, no swelling or anything like that, mm. and nothing that no really. Engagement. No, nothing that stopped me from functioning a normal life. You know, apart from if I lifted my hands up and put weight on it, then it hurt. Yeah. So I not hurt. I felt it—a discomfort. Yeah. You know it's there. So I'm living up to my Wolverine tag. Mm. I think I'll be right. You're giving yourself. I'll be, I'll, no I think I'll be. I, I think I'll be right. I'm going to train yeah. tomorrow. You train tomorrow. So tomorrow. Okay, cool. I'll come in and train. Yep. Um, yeah. 
but it's been hectic anyway mm. with, um, with the comp. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We will. Anyway, so what's new? We've got new products we again. We do have new products. So Prima, we've told you about this before. So yep. the Prima Bollocks Nourish is now in. So this is their, this is a full blown meal replacement. Yes. Pack. And what you can truly call a meal replacement. You definitely can. Yeah. So it's around about a 50-50 protein and carbs. Yep. Contains fats in the form of MCT oils. Mm -hmm. Uh, Etc. So quickly, just quick rundown. So this is first off. This is a plant-based whole food. Yep. We spoke um, about this on the last video. I'll quickly say that Will from Premium Bolic said he wasn't intentionally doing this as a plant-based yep. product for a vegan market, but he just felt these are the optimal nutrients for a meal replacement. Yeah. Yep. Well, just going to lift the proteins from fermented golden pea, which is a very good isolate. Yep. You've got your oats and your sweet sweet potato for and your and, yep and co coconut water for your carbohydrate. You've got your added glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline for collagen. People on plant-based yep. diets do not get enough collagen in their diet, so those amino acids are added in there as well, as well as your S7, which is your antioxidant blend, as well as cinnamon bark extract of chromium. So pick. it's got collagen in there. It, does, it doesn't have collagen in there. It's got the amino acids that make up collagen. Okay. So it yes. can be called vegan. It can be All called right. vegan. I was just going to put them up on that because it says they're vegan. No, nope, this okay. is 100% okay. vegan, okay. plant-based. And I just said that they, it does contain your carbohydrate support, like with your chromium pick and your cinnamon up bark extract to control blood sugar and insulin response. Yep. Very, very good product. Can't wait to talk about it more. In, in no, depth. no. Yeah, we, I want to, I'm, I'm keen to try it. Yeah, no? me too. Um, so Will, when you come down next week, can you bring us a tub so we can try it? Definitely. Um, so it's the difference between a protein powder like a lot of people come in and say can i use my protein powder as a meal replacement well you can yes you can but it's not technically a meal no. a meal to me is i always tell people a meal is steak and potatoes yeah or steak and potatoes and vegetables it's a meal it's it's got protein carbohydrates fats yeah it that's contains your three macros got. that's what yep. i think is for a meal yep. yes that's what this has got uh a meal replacement will also should should satiate you a little Definitely. bit more, which yep. this will with the added fats uh, and being plant-based, it's gonna have a little bit more body to it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So definitely. it's definitely, this is what you'd use and call a meal replacement. Yes. And definitely. now how many calories per serve? It's there still not is 215. Uh, 215, oh yeah, yep. there you go. Yep, yes. so I think Will definitely did it deliberately as not a high calorie. No. So, but it's perfect for you if you're on the go, haven't got time for a meal, uh, that's optimal. Hmm. Now we're going to be doing full reviews on these products yep. when Will comes here next week. I'll talk about that a Definitely. little bit more. Can't wait. So the next one from also from Prima Bolics is Metabolize in Pineapple. So we've had it in the Strawberry Kiwi. Yep and it is now available in pineapple, which I dry scooped this morning and definitely when I added water to it in my mouth, it was pineapple. Yeah. Um, now I used this this morning for the first time, so I can't really go on, but you and Ari love it. I love it, yeah. But what I will say is that it definitely, I felt great, had good energy, uh, just felt really alert, mm. just a great overall. Um, it's a great product. Product? Yeah. So it's a fat burner. It's also like for thyroid function. Yep, thyroid and adrenal yep. support as and well. And adrenal support as yes. well. And also in now is their Restore. Restore. Yep. Which is a full adrenal support this, product. Yeah, this is their adrenal support product. Yep. Um, Will's been telling me about this like extensively because you know he is one of my clients, funnily yep. enough. And even saying that I should be using this um, in time of the comp prep because cortisol levels are naturally going to be higher and this controls cortisol and adrenal support so definitely looking forward to give this a go and have a more of a breakthrough breakdown when he's in yep yeah so what was, what's happening is uh, Will from Prima Bolics is coming down here uh, next week mm -hmm. so he'll be here for the ICN Classic yep he'll have a little stand at the uh, Classic and he'll go some giveaways and then the following week we're gonna film reviews on all of his all products, products. yeah every single one of their products so who better to review the products than the actual formulator the himself. formulator himself now Will himself is renowned as one of Australia's best formulators he's mm -hmm. worked for a number of companies yep. before setting up his own uh, company uh, and is one of the premier product formulators in the country. Now, what's also exciting is that we will be doing a seminar with Will yep. at Australian Muscle Salisbury on Tuesday the 18th, uh, Tuesday the 20th, 20th. at 6 p.m. Now, this seminar is going to be focusing on 
adrenal support, yep. thyroid function, and hormonal things, function, horm hormonal function yep. basically, uh, for both men and women. How you can optimize uh, and restore your hormonal function for fat loss, for energy, for yep. muscle gain, yep. everything will be covered. Um, it's gonna go only maybe an hour to 90 minutes. Yep. It's gonna be free, but li spots are limited. We can only fit maybe 30, 35 people Mm. So uh, comfortably in the store. So if you would like to be involved in this, it's completely free. 6 p.m. Tuesday the 20th at Australia Muscle Salisbury. Just shoot us a message, an email or call us. Ari will put up the little flyer here as I'm talking as well. Um, and we'll book you a spot. Cool. You know, it, it, it really is something that um, I anticipate will fill up quickly because it's only about 30 35 people we can fit comfortably in store um, so keep that in mind uh, we'll keep promoting it a little bit more but really if you're looking at this critical function of your body your hormonal function and especially in today's society with all the um, pre-workouts everyone's using yep um, the stress of competing etc that you're putting yourself under um, cortisol and hormonal support is vital very much so yep so looking forward to that that should be exciting yeah I think it'll be really good um, anything else mm, yes ah <laughs> yes all right so ATP Science have rebranded the old Alpha Mars product. Yes. Excuse me. So that is now called Alpha Jupiter. Alpha Jupiter. Now, we are going to say this directly, that this is the exact same product as the old Alpha Mars, but with a different name. Yep. It's sort of like if you had a friend who you haven't seen in a while that comes back with a fake mustache. You know it's your friend, but they just have a fake mustache on. Or they've it's, gone to Thailand yeah, and got boobs. It's no different. <laughs> it's just got a different name. Yeah. So it is exactly. Um, and Mars was one of our best-selling testosterone products. Definitely, it was the very product. first product that used Shilajit. Exactly um, right. Which is a, which is a you know, a fungus. Yeah. <laughs> best way to put it. Yeah. Um, a plant sediment that has been shown to increase sperm mobility, sperm, uh, sperm efficacy, efficacy. Yep. Yeah. And overall testosterone levels in in aged men. Yep. And yeah, very very good. That is now back in stock. Yes. So um, just look for, look out for Alpha Mars when you're ordering. Alpha Valve, Jupiter. Alpha Jupiter. It was funny, we had, I had a really in-depth conversation with um, Michael from um, ATP mm. Science about why it couldn't be called Mars yep. back again. And apparently all to do with the TGA, the TGA wouldn't let them call it Mars, um, yet Alpha Jupiter was fine. With the, yeah. They're both planets. They're both planets, they're both gods. Uh, that makes no difference, but anyway. Yep. But it's it just is gram for gram exactly the same yeah, product. Just with a different name. Same yeah. price. Yep. 120 capsules, uh, 89.95. Yep. Beautiful. And that is available now and in store. Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done in shop mm. tour. All right. Just a quick uh, finish up on uh, the ICN. So ICN tickets are now available. Mm -hmm. You can buy them online at australianmuscle.com.au. Just note that if you are watching this video and you see oh i'm gonna go buy some tickets um the last day that we will post tickets out is tomorrow which is friday the 9th friday the 9th so if you're watching this after friday the 9th you're better off coming in store to australia muscle suit uh, salisbury and mm -hmm. buying the tickets or getting them at the door yep now that being said the afternoon fitness show is over 50% sold. Wow, already. Already, and tickets over only 48 hours yep. we've had them up for sale. The morning bodybuilding show, no problem, lots of tickets, and they will be available at the door on the day. Um, I anticipate we will have some available for the afternoon show because our numbers were increased. Yep. So it's about the double the crowd we can have what we had last season, which is good. 
So, uh, available now, australianmuscle.com.au. Yep. Just have a look on the side menu, you'll see ICN tickets. Yes. These are also, it's also still a two show format. Yes. You need a ticket for each show. There's also a, a there is a reduced all day ticket. There is as an well. all day thing. Yes. Yep. Yeah, which uh, is um, like a reduced, uh, reduced ticket. Yeah. So make sure if you've got friends in the, in the bikini show or the fitness show, you buy that one rather than the bodybuilding one. Yep. Uh, but if you want to watch both, might as well just get both for 60 bucks. That's right. Yeah. Bodybuilding show starts at 9.30 in the morning. That incorporates men's physique yep. and uh, Miss Figure. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon from 2 p.m., we've got the bikini, fitness, sports model, and men's fitness. Yep. This is going to be my first show I'm actually going to watch a little bit. Oh, in the afternoon? Yeah. 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 Well, you better be watching. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Someone would get very upset with me if that's, I don't. That's right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just mm. bear that in mind. The afternoon show, already over half sold. Yep. That's it. You had no That's questions? It. I did actually you have had a, a couple of questions yesterday, which I, I had thought a couple were interesting. I had a couple of questions yesterday. Yep. Um, let me just bring them up. Ari, if you can just like stop it here and then restart it, just so it looks seamless, or you can just watch me. You can watch you just scroll, yeah, scroll yeah, just through your phone. Just do the whole thing. <laughs> uh, all right, so I had two really good questions. Um, I thought you had a couple there, which I thought would be good to address. Yes. So my f one of my first questions was, should I be having weight isolate or lean weight after my workout for cutting weight? Um, and I just said, have one that's li lower in calories. Whey protein isolate is probably usually around 120 calories, give or take, yep. for each 25 gram serving. Um, whey protein blends are fine as well. They're not going to impact you in any way, shape or form unless you're being very, very stringent and counting your carbohydrates and fat, which are predominantly found more in whey protein concentrate than isolate and more in isolate than hydrolysis. Yep. So it makes no difference. It just comes down to your serving size. We're in the, yeah, everything boils down to serving size. Yes. Including your food, your protein powders. But mm. So another one I got is, um, do you treat fructose similar to other CHO, which is carbohydrate, uh, especially with different insulin insulinogenic property? So insulinogenic means the production of insulin. So the, pr the question I got from Will, funnily yep. enough, um, was, pretty much is what would you use a like different number of fruit or fructose that would be beneficial post-workout pre-workout etc um or do i view fructose differently than dextrose multidextrin that sort of stuff and personally uh if i you're looking at a fruit post-workout or pre-workout i'd probably recommend something like dates or grapes something higher in fructose than say like a banana or an apple, just because, That's what I yeah, just just because uh, there Dates is more. Are gross. Yeah. What's what's gross? Dates. Dates are amazing. Okay. They are the best fruit by by far, especially because they're so calorically dense. Yep. Um, the main reason why is bananas and of course apples have more insoluble fiber than dates, grapes, currants, that sort of thing. So it does slow down the digestion minimally. Okay. Now I'm talking minutia. It's if you start overcomplicating, is I can't have this fruit after a workout or this fruit pre-workout, you're probably going to slow up your progress because you're stressing too much. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're looking at post-workout, I'd recommend like dates, grapes, a berry rather than a banana. Yep. Yeah. And awesome. Go from there. Yeah. No worries. Mm. I, had, I had one more question. I got them this yep. morning, um, and it was from Megan Craniford. Uh, a seasoned competitor with A and B, with the IC engine and all that stuff. And she asked, "Do um, what do you think of the idea of people using the stage as a confidence booster? So using, getting to the stage is like a, com a confidence hit because there seems to be a lot of things like people who are going from, you know, I don't really have the highest self-esteem, but they use the stage as like yep. a goal to get to get to their best shape. Yep. Now, I've addressed it many, many times that the stage is very different to daily life. Um, if you are coming from a very heavy position, if you've never been in shape before, and you're using a competition solely based on the judge of how you look, you better come in 100% looking the best you ever have and you've done the best you can, the, all you have to get to that level. In the end, it's a competition. It is a competition. And you're being judged on How the condition you of your physique. Exactly it. So you might, you might look the best you ever have, ever, and you think, hell yeah, I look great, I can't wait to be on stage and show what I've done. Yeah. But then you get feedback 
saying you're not lean enough. That's right. It's going to mess with your head dramatically. You're not lean enough. You're maybe lean enough for life. You may look the best you ever have. You look beautiful. You look great in every angle, every light. But then you step on stage with someone who is literally sub 10% body fat and you're told you're too, you don't look the best as this person, that's going to screw with your head. That's right. And we've seen it. We've yeah. seen it a lot. Um, especially in the last few years, people are using the stage as, a, as like, a, I'm going to say this as a goal as weight loss. I think it's a good, I think it's good to set a date, but you'd be, you better be willing to win because it's a competition. That's right. Uh, so it can be used as a double-edged sword. Yes, it's good, but then again, no, it is not. That's right. So that's what I think, personally. Yep. Yeah. Fully agree. Mm. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thanks, everyone, for yep. tuning in. As per normal, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle The Gym and Australian Muscle Online. With free Australia-wide delivery. Free Australia-wide delivery. Get onto it. All these products we spoke about are available now yep. in store and online. Mm. Thanks, guys. Yep. We'll see you next week. Next week, this time, will be a couple of days out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. No worries. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.